Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now. Today we've got the Diamondback DBX 5.7. Very small and lightweight 5.7 by 28 millimeter firearm. I recently showed this with a table review. A lot of people liked it. It is very unique, very different, and extremely lightweight. Three pounds unloaded under four pounds loaded with 20 rounds. And it does have a 20 round diamondback magazine there's the 5.7 by 28 millimeter travels over 2,000 feet per second closer to 2300 feet per second but check this out aluminum upper and lower receivers along with the rail it has an 8 inch barrel look at that flash hider made by diamondback m lock slots here and i do have a brace here that is a SB Tactical FS 1913 brace that atta attaches to the 1913 rail right there. It does have a Magpul grip, M-Spec trigger, and a very nice package. The DBX 5.7. I've got a Burris Fast Fire 2 on here. I just sighted it in. It took like nothing to do that. But it's a good looking firearm. And I think it's a sharpshooter from what I've shot so far. It was very cool. But we're about 20 yards away. Let's go ahead and take a few shots here. All right. Very nice. I mentioned that it is lightweight and you can feel that it is so light which is amazing and the accuracy so far has been great I have no complaints at all I mentioned that I sighted in the optic it took literally about five shots and it was sighted in but here is the other side now this is a dual gas piston driven system it does have adjustments there in case you want to run it suppressed. The uh, Phillips head screwdriver would go right in there. You could adjust it, but I have no need to do that. And you can see that the, the bolt does lock back with the last shot. It also has a bolt release right there. And the charging handle is reciprocating and it's also adjustable. You can move it to the right side if, if that's your choice you just pull it out all right just pull it out like that move it to the other side or keep it in this side m lock slots already mentioned and a very lightweight and nice firearm all right same distance away i want to hold this like a handgun and fire it from about 20 yards and we'll start let's start with the rabbit yep <laughs> when you when you don't have the security of the brace keeping everything stable that dot you know you you've got the the human element and if you shake it just a little bit that dots all over the place which accounts for some of the misses 21 20 round magazines they are fn compatible i noticed i omitted that the first time and if you look at the charger you can see that it is angled downward all right and that is because it is reciprocating and also so when you charge it you're not running your fingers across that rail so that's actually pretty nice and then we've got the bolt release and if the mag's out you can bring the bolt back and pull up on that and that will hold it there eleven hundred twenty five dollars is the msrp and I like it. I really do. All right, so I have a small pumpkin there. Let's see what I can do with this. I think it's just going to slice right through it like nothing. I don't expect any explosion or anything. And that's what we're looking at from the entry. But if we come around this way, you can see that it pretty well blew out that pumpkin back about 40 yards now 
I've got the tactical frog blanket and the DBX 57. Let's see how it does. Nice. Well, there it is, guys. The DBX 57 made by Diamondback. It's a new release. It has a lot to it that, that makes it really nice. Very much impressed with it. I love the 5.7 by 28 millimeter. It's low recoil. It's loud, huge muscle flash. But this thing seems to cycle it and shoot it very nicely. I'm so happy with it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.